God bless you guys. God bless. Amen. So we're here again. So the video that I want to make today is very similar to another video I made. Just as I called the body of Christ to pray for Pastor John Gray when he was going through his situation, I am now asking the body of Christ to do the same thing for Pastor Carl Lentz. It's interesting because I felt led to do a video like that for Pastor Carl Lentz a little while back, but I chose not to. And now I'm seeing this information being revealed, and I am feeling the same way that I did for Pastor John Gray, which is that I'm feeling pretty sad about it, actually. In my past, when I was uh, younger in the Lord, I would have rejoiced at this man's fall. I'm just being completely honest. I would have rejoiced. But that's not the heart of the Father. The heart of the Father is that when our brother falls, we pick them up gracefully and we lead them back the way that they're supposed to go. And we minister to them the way we would want to be ministered to if we were in their position. Because if we were in their position, we would want somebody to be graceful towards us. And so we must show that same attitude and character towards others who experience what Pastor Carl Lentz has experienced. And so I'm not going to be long. This isn't going to be a 20 minute or more video. I just simply wanted to come on here and call us to now pray for him. And so I want to remind everybody to be cautious before you condemn someone whose sin was exposed. Because I assure you, every single one of us has some kind of secret. Every single one of us has a sin that we deal with that no one else knows about. Unless you're a complete open book. Every single one of us is capable of going in that direction. But we need to be the hands and feet of Jesus. And we need to reach out with our arms open in prayer, love, godly correction, but doing it in love. I do believe it's wrong what he did. But that doesn't mean that we kick him while he's down. We help bring those who have fallen back up again. And I do believe that the Lord is going to do something with him. God could still use him. He can restore him. Just like God has restored many other preachers through history who have fallen. So let's have that attitude that God can still do it in the life of a man who fell from grace. Let's bring him back into grace. And let's pray for the man. So would you bow your heads and pray with me? Jesus, I just want to lift up Pastor Carl Lentz right now. Father, first off, I ask that you would forgive him of the sins he committed. And I also ask, Father, that your hands would bring healing to him, to his wife, to his family, because of what's done. Father, we have an enemy that is out there who is constantly trying to attack us, have his way with us, bring us down, separate from you. But greater is he who lives in us than he who lives in the world. So I pray that you would bring Pastor Carl Lent up to a place of surrender, healing, and deliverance that he may preach the gospel effectively. And that now he learns something new in his journey that he can share as a testimony to others. How even at his worst, Jesus forgives and lifts us back up 
that it is under the blood. And so I plead the blood of Jesus over Pastor Carl Lentz, over this situation. I pray that the body of Christ would have a different attitude towards him. I pray you lift him up. I pray you send people his way that will encourage him, help minister healing and restore. And I bless him to be better than he was prior. I ask this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. God bless you guys. Have a good night.